another exciting game. This time we've got someone who's coming from Nuke Goda, someone who's coming from Candy. So it's time to see how these two geographies That's compete. That's right, because this is the platform where we allow everyone to excel and shine in whatever they do. So without much further ado, let's quickly start off with getting our two teams introduced. Yes, indeed. Let's start off with the boys' school first. We have coming all the way from Candy, St. Anthony's College. But the boys from Candy are all set to find out who their opponents would be for the matches to be faced against each other. So let's put our hands together for the girls from Nugegora from Anula Vidyalaya. So the girls from Nugegoda are also on stage and each other know their opponents. I would like to start off with getting a little bit of a brief from Demo, the captain of Anula Vidyalaya. How is the preparation like? We've been practicing for so long time, so I think we can give a good competition for our opponents. That's right, that's what she says. Practice makes perfect. Let's find out from the opponents. Yes, indeed. And right here from St. Anthony's College Candy, we have the captain Bilal. How have you guys been prepping up for the match? We have been waiting for this day and we want to rock it. That's All it. All right, rock it. That's what we're going to do today. I love rock those it. words yeah. coming into play. They are going to rock the stage. So without much further ado, it's time for us to find out how well the Antonians rock it out and also Prior preparation gets perfect on this stage. So let's start off with getting our judges introduced. Let's put our hands together for Nadisha Darshani, Vice Principal working with the Ministry of Education. <laughs> also joining on the panel is Samantha Dasanayake, English medium teacher, attorney at law. And as always, we kickstart things off here in the match with the tossing of the coin to decide which one of the teams will be facing the other first and to do the honours of that we now invite both the captains to join us front and centre and invite one of the judges as well to supervise the toss. So we have Devma and Bilal to check out who will be winning the toss. Well this is the usual toss with heads and tails in it but we got TV1 and Pentathlon and I would like to ask the girls which side do you select? Pentathlon. Pentathlon it is, which means we'll be going with TV1. Let's find out. 3, 2, 1. It is Pentathlon, which means favouring side for the girls. You are the decider now. Are you going in first or are you giving it to your opponents? I'm giving it to my opponent. Opponents from Candy. Over to you. Let's shake hands and start things off. Well, Anula Vidyalaya won the toss and gave it to their opponents of who is St. Anthony's from Candy. Well, things are set. Let's start off when we say 3, 2, 1. It is the first round and it is called Balance. Your quiz. In our first round, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. These players have a challenge to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. And they have to do all of this while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat. However, if they do drop the ball even once, they will be disqualified from taking on further questions. Each correct answer gives them five points, but if they answer the fifth question correctly, they will be awarded 10 points. Well, those are the rules and regulations of round one. Balance your quiz. So let's start off the game by asking the captain, from my right hand side, who are your three core players for this match? Uh, it's gonna be Anuja, myself, and G2. And who's coming in first? I'm coming. Calm down. The captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. <laughs> so here you go. You've got 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts in three, two, one, go. Symphony number no. five is which composer's most famous work? Boss. It's Beethoven. Who was the British Prime Minister when Sri Lanka gained independence? Frederick Law Northland. Wrong, it's Clement Attlee. Name the capital of Algeria. Pass. It's Algiers. Which athlete was nicknamed Baltimore Bullet? Usain Bullet. Wrong, it's Michael Phelps. 
The Second World War started after Germany invaded which country? Spain. Wrong, it's Poland. Let's move on to Anudla Vidyal and ask Deuma, who are your three core players? Benuri, Sashini and myself. And who's coming in first? Benuri. Come down. There you go, Benuri. You've got 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Which composer created... Oh. It is a disqualification. Bilal, who is the next player? Next, it's going to be G to Harshin. Calm down. Yes, you are ready. Here you go. You've got 30 seconds to battle it out in 3, 2, 1, start. Gulf Air is owned by which country? Pass. It's Bahrain. Name the island associated with the novel Gulliver's Travels. Pass. It's Lilliput. Which animal's scientific name is Canis Lupus Familiaris? Pass. It's dog. Which natives refer to their homeland as Nippon? Japan. Correct. Cricketer Vivian Richards played for which team? Australia. Wrong, it's West Indies. Your questions are up. Well, let's move on to the girls and ask Deuma who is coming in next. I'm coming. The captain steps forward. You've got 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Etihad Airways is owned by which country? Italy. Wrong, United Arab Emirates. Geppetto is a character found in which fairy tale? Pass. It's Pinocchio. Which animal's scientific name is Loxodonta? Elephant. Correct. Which natives refer to their country as Deutschland? Arab. Wrong, it's German. Cricketer Hansi Cronier played for which country? Australia. Wrong, it's South Africa. Your questions are up. Bilal, who's your next co-player? It's gonna be Anuj. Okay, calm down. Here you go. You've got 30 seconds to battle it out in 3, 2, 1, start. Swashioka is caused by lack of which substance? Pass. It's protein. Who wrote the gothic novel Frankenstein? Pass. It's Mary Shelley. King Noradom Shihamani rules which country at present? Wrong, Cambodia. Name the largest city in Morocco. Pass. It's Casablanca. 1987 Cricket World Cup was hosted by which country? West Indies. Wrong, India or Pakistan. Time's up. Let's move on to Anula Vidyal and find out who is coming in next. Sashini. Calm down. You've got 30 seconds. Time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Yellow fever is caused by which animal? Mosquito. Correct. Who wrote the novel Dracula? Pass. It's Bram Stoker. King Chanchuk rules which country at present? Panama. Wrong, it's Bhutan. What is the largest city in Pakistan? Pass. It's Karachi. 1992 Cricket World Cup was hosted by which country? India. Wrong, Australia or New Zealand? The questions are up. Well, that comes to an end of round one. Well, not very well successfully answered by both schools, but we will need to see whether each of the schools were able to get those points on the table. We'll be right back with more excitement. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. <laughs> Welcome back, you're watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we just finished a very challenging first round because we saw that both the teams were not able to make much progress but here are what the scores stand like at the end of round 1. We'll start off with the girls from Anula Vidyalaya, Nuge Goda. Unfortunately, they were not able to score any points but their points still remain zero. But you give yourself a round of applause for that, no problem. Meanwhile, the boys from St. Anthony's College, Candy, were able to make little progress because they have, at the end of one round, scored themselves five points. Well, not very great results coming out from both schools because 
we expected more. But I'm sure our expectations will be lived when we move on with the following rounds. Well, the personal favourite, and it is called Express to Impress. Our second round, Express to Impress, is really fun because both the teams will be given a story lead which they then have to act out in front of our judges. They have to impress our judges with their creativity, their imagination, their acting, as well as their vocabulary and diction. So let's find out how both our schools fare. We start off first with St. Anthony's College, Candy. Once upon a time, a king ruled the world. He was a good man. However, he could not tolerate mistakes. The king always punished those who tried to cheat him or committed any mistakes. And then... And then what happens for the boys from the Central Hills? It's not a very big deal to be royal and find out and wear those royal things because they are kings themselves. That's what they say. Let's find out. they got two minutes to battle it out. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, your time starts now. <laughs> Warrior, bring those prisoners. Minutes actually, I was just talking at the left. Hey, no, 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 no. Just go back. Go back. I don't want to see these prisoners in front of me. I just want to this. I want to kill them. I don't want to see them tomorrow morning. My lord, I should kindly ask you to calm down, please. Why should I calm down? They are just kids. They are just small kids. Can't you understand? But they have done something a uh, great mistake. No, no, did we haven't done any mistake. <laughs> did you ask what they did? What did you do? Uh, mango. Uh, b -b 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 mango. B -b -b what? Uh, uh, we took some mango from their neighbor house. That's all. Don't you feel it, it's like a mistake? Whatever, just go and get lost. Minister, where are you? Ah, oh, here you are. Is there something new about me? I should think, seriously, I should think that you should calm down. Why should I? They are just small kids. I told you the first reason. The other reason, it's not something bad. To pick something from another neighbor's house, is, is that something to kill? Can, can't you understand? Really? Warrior, bring those kids once again. No, 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 no. Just come up, come up. Actually, I realize what's my mistake is. I'm, I feel like I'm so rude and I don't want to become like this in front of kids. You are the future of our kingdom. So, once again, I apologize from you all. So now I feel my mistakes. Sorry, kids. Thank you. My lord. I so, uh, my lord, I think you understand that every person is not perfect in this world. We all of us do mistakes, but it's okay to forgive once. Well, the boys were able to finish their act even before the allocated time period, which means there's perfect time planning and also. A message giving out that no one is perfect and don't steal mangoes. Okay? Right, with that thought, we will be moving on to their opponents. Let's find out what they pick out. Alex the lion lived in the jungle. He was big, strong and had a flowing mane. He also had the mightiest and loudest roar in the jungle and one which could be heard for miles around. Alex was indeed a splendid creature but he was depressed and terribly unhappy. And then... And then we are all waiting to see how that act comes along. So you got two minutes. Let's see what they got on offer and your time starts now. What a miserable life I'm having. Oh, I lose my family. I lose everyone. Those humans took all my happiness. Oh, I'm so sad. Those humans did all bad things for me. I was very happy 10 years before. I was the happiest family in the world. <sighs> Look at that scene. What a beautiful scene is that. Yes, of course. We are the happiest family in the world. We are so fun. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can you hear that noise? What? That I'm afraid. What? What? Don't be afraid. No, no. Shh. Oh no. Come, come, what no. happened to you? Dad. No, no. Please leave me. I have 
to leave you. Don't leave me. I have to leave you. Please take care of Alexander. Please go. Take care of Alexander. Alexander? Where is him? Did you see that act? What those humans did for my life? Please, humans, don't think animals are lifeless. They too have senses. Don't do things which may be beneficial for you, but unhappy for them. And also, always think that humans and animals are same. And always don't hurt the feelings of animals. Ah. Who are you? Dad, can't you remember me? I'm oh. Alexander. Oh, Alexander. I'm so happy. The usual scenario which we witness most commonly on this stage is that the teams run out of time. But however, there seems to be a lot of team management and a lot of time remaining. But the judgment is yet to be received. So let's find out from our judges what the scores are like at the end of round two. Both of the teams performed well. And so we highly appreciate that and it was very interesting. Uh, but considering the factors, presentation, creativity and the vocabulary and content of their acts, uh, St. Anthony's College Candy has scored 65 marks. And Anla Vidyalaya Nuge Goda has scored 70 marks. Well, thank you very much to the judges for that decision. Well, you heard the points at the round 2, which is 65 and 70, but we need to find out how the scores stand at the end of two rounds. Yes, indeed. At the end of round two, we have Anula Vidyalaya Nuge Goda with 70 points. And we have St. Anthony's College Candy also with 70 points. Well, it's 70-70. Both schools in a tie and things could change when we progress. Let's move on to... Round number three, which is called what? The basket. In round three, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. They are then given a word which has 12 alphabets with several of its letters locked. In order to unlock an alphabet, they will then have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting will give them 10 points and reveal one alphabet. And if they can correctly guess the word, they will be awarded 70 points additional. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of Word the Basket, which is round three. So let's start off with the boys and ask them to get their number picked out. This is word number one. Well, Bilal picked out word number one, which means before we start off, I would like to ask you, who are your three co-players? Um, it's going to be me, Vikas and Anuj. Okay, and let's take a look at word number one. You got two spaces B, two spaces R, two spaces T, two spaces and N at the end. Bilal, who will you be sending in first? Uh, because he's going to be first. And what is the letter he would like unlocked? The first letter. Okay, come forward. <laughs> Bilal, what's your next uh, decision? Who are you sending in? It's going to be Anuj Hapakotu. And what is that letter he would like unlocked? The letter after S. Okay, Anuja, here you go. <laughs> Missed basket out there. Bilal, what's your next decision? Who are you going to send? I'm in? going to come. You're going to come, and what is that letter you would like unlocked? I'm going to lock uh, the letter after B. Okay, come forward. Successful attempt by the captain. Now you need to make a decision. Are you going to send in more players or are you going to decide what the word is? I'm going to decide it. You're going to decide what the word is. Can you say what the word is? 
Assure. The word is uh, subscription. Okay. It's uh, S U B S C R I P T I O N. Are you sure about the word? Yeah, I'm 100% sure about it. Subscription is the word? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You sure about yeah. it? Yeah. So you've got two locked and a few empty spaces with two failed attempts. You want to know what the word is? Yeah. Whether it's right or wrong, we all need to know what the word is. Let's take a look at the word. Subscription is the correct answer. Well, plus points for the boys. Let's see whether the girls will do the same. Captain, you got to pick out a number. This is word number six. Well, you picked out uh, them uh, number six. Who are your three co-players? Venuris, Sashini and myself. Okay, you selected your co-players. Let's see what word number six is. You got two spaces R, two spaces C, a space L and two spaces R and a space at the end. Who are you sending in first and what is the letter you would like to unlock? I like to unlock the first letter and I'll be coming. Okay, Devma. Here you go. A successful basket. Before you go, you have to answer a question. Who are you sending in next? Sashin. Okay, and what is the letter you would like her to unlock? Letter before C. Letter before C. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Unsuccessful attempt, but nevertheless. Okay, Captain, what is your decision? Who will you be sending in next? Penuri, uh, and I need to unlock the box before. After R. That's the first R or the second R? First R. The first R. Here you go. <laughs> Devma, I would like to ask you, will you be sending your fourth player or will you be deciding what the word is? We'll deciding what the word is. You're going to decide what the word is? Yeah. Okay, can you read the word for us, please? Horticulture. Okay, and how does it go? H O R T I C U L T U R E. Horticulture is the word, what you say is right. Yeah, I think so. You think so? You're sure about it? Okay, without much further ado, let's see whether your answer is. Right or wrong? Let's take a look at the word. Horticulture is the correct word. Okay, so that's how the game moves on. And we have completed three rounds. But we have more excitement coming your way and we need to know what the results are. But before that, let's all take a short breather. But watching us at home and on your YouTube or any website. Just keep it locked. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Welcome back. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are back with the results after three interesting challenging rounds. Let's see what the scores are like. Starting first with the boys from St. Anthony's College Candy. In the third round, they scored themselves 80 points and that brings their total up to 150 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the girls from Anula Vidyalaya, Nuge Goda. In the third round, they scored themselves 80 points, bringing their total up as well to 150 points. Well, both schools seem to be battling it out equally. Once again, 150, 150. But we just got two more rounds to see if this is going to remain a tie or if the scores are going to change. Battle it out because this is round four and it is called Target. Your knowledge. In round four, each of our teams gets to send forward three core players. 
these players then have the opportunity to target a dart to a spinning wheel with many colours on it. And each of these colours represent a subject from which they will then be asked a question. Each question answered correctly gives them 25 points. If they choose to double and they get the answer correct, that gives them 50 points. But if they choose to double and answer incorrectly, that will be a negative score. However, if they choose to drop the dart by any means, they will then be disqualified from taking on a question. Well, those are the rules and regulations of round four, which is targeted knowledge. But what do these colours represent? Well, let me tell you what it represents. Blue is for sports and games, yellow is for art and entertainment, red is for science and technology and orange is for history, green is for geography, purple for literature and the one in the middle which is the white one is called Trump where you could select any of the topics which I just mentioned. Well, the ground is set to begin round four. Let's start off with the boys and ask the captain Bilal who his three co-players are. It's going to be Vikas, me and Anujim. Okay, and who is coming in first, Bilal? Uh, Anuja will be coming first. Calm down, Anuja. You ready? Three, two, one. It is blue, which means sports and games. You've got sports. Would you like to go in for a double? All right, let's take a look at your visuals. Argentine racing car driver who dominated the first decade of Formula One racing and became the first driver to win World Drivers Championship five times. Your options are A. Rubens Barrichello B. Philip Massa C. Juan Manuel Fangio or D. Fernando Alonso Time is ticking. Five seconds more. The answer is D. Fernando Alonso. D. Fernando Alonso. How sure are you about this? 50%. 50%. You have answered D. Fernando Alonso. The correct answer is C. Juan Manuel Fangio. I'm afraid your answer is incorrect. Well, that was an unfailed attempt for the boys from the Central Hills, let's move on to Deumi and ask her. She says her name is Deuma. Let's move on to Deuma and ask her who your three co-players are. Sashini, myself and Kaviti. And who's coming in first? I'm coming first. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. It is orange, which means it's history. You've got history. Would you like to go in for a double? No. All right, let's take a look at your visuals. End of this Nobel Peace Prize winning US president's tenure marked Iran hostage crisis and the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Name him. Your options are A, Richard Nixon, B, Ronald Reagan, C. Gerald Ford or D. Jimmy Carter? I think it's D. Jimmy Carter. D. Jimmy Carter. Are you very sure? D. Jimmy Carter is your answer. The correct answer is D. Jimmy Carter. That's absolutely right. Well, the girls from Anula were not quite sure about the answer. However, it was luck by chance with 50% luck and 50%, I don't know what you call it. Okay, right, let's move on to the boys and ask the captain who your next play is. Next is uh, Vikash. Come down. Three, two, one. It is purple, which means it's literature. You've chosen literature. Would you like to go in for a double? Okay, let's take a look at your visual. You saw the literary character Atticus Finch from a film adaptation of a beloved novel. In which novel do you find this character? Your options are A. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn B. To Kill a Mockingbird C. The Great Gatsby or D. Grapes of Wrath. You've just got 
Five seconds more. Three, two, one. Don't and your time is up. Your time is up. I'm sorry. The correct answer is B, to kill a mockingbird. Okay, now they have a little bit of smiles on your face. Okay, right, let's move on once again to the girls and ask Thelma, who is your next player? Session. Come down. You're ready? Three, two, one. What was that colour? I think it's yellow. You think it's yellow? <laughs> I think it is on someone's face. <laughs> And that means you are disqualified. You know what happens then? Nothing happens. You'll find out when the results come. Okay, right. So we need to move on to the final player from the boys. And who is that going to be? It's me. Come down. Three, two, one. Green on green it is, which means geography. You've got geography. Would you like to go in for a double? No. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted in red. Your options are A. Belarus B. Lithuania C. Estonia or D. Latvia Just be Lithuania. Be Lithuania. Are you sure about your answer? 50%. 50%. You've answered B Lithuania. That is the correct answer. Well, the boys are playing it safe. They go with 50% and then they're like, I think it's the correct answer. I think it's the wrong answer but however they end up getting those MCQ answers right okay right let's see whether luck works for y'all next time ask for 50% okay just say 50% who is your final player come down final to go are you ready are you energetic don't hit me okay right three two one It's on the same colour, which is red, and that represents science and technology. Science and technology is what you got. Do you want to go in for a double? No. No. Okay, let's take a look at your visual. <laughs> Who you saw was Ukrainian-American entrepreneur and computer programmer, Jan Kuom. He is the co-founder of Rich Mobile App. Your options are A. WhatsApp B. Viber C. WeChat or D. Snapchat The answer is A. WhatsApp A. WhatsApp You seem very confident. Do you use WhatsApp a lot? <laughs> Alright, they said A. WhatsApp I'm afraid that's the correct answer! Well, Tulani seems to be a frequent WhatsApp user. Am I right? Sometimes you use WhatsApp. What do you use? <laughs> yeah, the one is saying don't ask questions because my teachers are watching me right now. Okay, right. I won't ask any further questions because we need to see what the scores are like at the end of round four. So it's time for us to shift all our attention and our eyes and our ears to the scores at the end of four rounds. Time now for us to find out what the results are at the end of round four. In the fourth round, we saw the boys from St. Anthony's College Candy scoring themselves 25 points, which brings their total up to 175 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we saw the girls from Anula Vidyalaya Nugegoda. In the fourth round, they scored themselves 50 points, and that brings their total up to 200 points.
Well, remember I told you that when it comes to the fourth round that the tie could change. So you could see for yourself that the results have changed and the girls from Nugegoda are taking a lead touching the 200 mark. But things could change because next is the rapid fire round which is our final and fifth round. So let's move on. That is titled the fifth and final round, the buzzer round. We're now in our fifth and final round, the round that will make or break one of these schools' destinies in the pentathlon season two. And of course, the rules are very simple. We have 10 questions. Each correct answer is 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. Name the current president of Cuba. Time's, Time's up. up. The correct answer is Miguel Diaz Canal. We move on to question number two. Name the Asian country which gained independence from Britain on the 4th of January 1948. Time's up. The correct answer is Burma. Question number three. Sign of Four is a detective novel written by which author? Yes, we have Kilani. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Question number four. What is the meaning of the Japanese word tsunami, which often refers to tidal waves? Time's, Time's up. up. The correct answer is harbour wave. Question number five. Name the founder of the international news channel CNN. Your time's time's up. up. The correct answer is Ted Turner. We move on to question number six. Name the Soviet author who refused the Nobel Prize he won for the novel Dr. Shivago due to the influence by Soviet government. Time's up. The correct answer is Boris Pasternak. We move on to question number seven. Having sold one gram for one billion dollars once, name the most expensive chemical element on earth. Time's up. The correct answer is Californium. We move on to question number eight. How many non-permanent member countries represent United Nations Security Council? Time's up. The correct answer is 10. We move on to question number 9. How many international borders do China or Russia have? Sashni? 14. That's the correct answer. Now we move on to the final question, the 10th question. Name the country with the fourth largest economy in the world at present. Time's up. The correct answer is Germany. And that brings us to the end of round five. That's right, it brings us to an end of five very challenging competitive rounds and the scores have changed or maybe it is constant. We need to find all that and also the prestigious title which we call Pentathlete will also be awarded and also the champion team will be announced in a little while. But first, we need to gather up the scores and a short breather. This is TV1 Pentathlon, Pentathlon Season 2. two. You are watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and this is the most exciting segment because this is where we tell you who the winners are of this very interesting match between Anla Vidyalaya and Nugi Goda as well as St. Anthony's College Candy. But before we reveal the results to you ladies and gentlemen, we have to first and foremost find out the Pentathlete of the day. That's right, we need to find out who bags away that elite title Pentathlete. It's over to the judges to give us that decision and selecting the most outstanding competitor. According to overall performance, I'm very much pleased to declare the best 10th athlete is 
ಮಿಥುಲನಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅನುಲಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ನುಗೇಗೌಡ So oh, thank you very much for that decision to our elite panel of judges. Once again, congratulations Tulani. Are you happy? She as, so, as, as soon as she got to know that she is a pentathlete, she wrote something on her paper and she showed it to the next person. What did you write? <laughs> Can you tell us? She's taking you all out for pizza? A treat? Ah oh, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, she's giving all of them a treat. So we need to find out all the excitement later on but we are awaiting for that excited moment which is to reveal the results yes indeed we have the final scores in my hand right now let's find out how both the teams have fared in the fifth round in the fifth round we saw the boys from st anthony's college candy unfortunately they were not able to answer anything they scored themselves zero points but that brings their total to 175 points Well, the girls from Anula Vidyalaya Nugegoda in the final round they got themselves 20 points and that brings their score to the winning score today 220 points. Well, while we congratulate the winning school Anula Vidyalaya Nugegoda, we need to also make that special remark here in Pentathlon season 2 to the team who gave their very best and fought it right throughout with the steering of Bilal. Congratulations to your team as well because nevertheless win or lose always remember you told that you are ready to give that fight and you gave the fight but someone has to win someone has to lose so let's all put a big round of applause to st anthony's kadugastoda okay we'll start off with the presentation by awarding that prestigious title which is called the pentathlete of the game and it is of course tulani from anula vidyalaya nugegoda Well, we congratulate Tulani from Anula Vidyalaya Nugegoda. It's time for us also to recognize the hard work and the run given to the girls from Nugegoda by the boys all the way from Kandy the Central Hills. Let's put our hands together for the team led by Bilal. Well, just like any other day, it's a time for us to say our goodbyes, but also reminding you that we'll be with you with another brand new episode of excitement, laughter, enjoyment, and also a lot of knowledge sharing. It's time for us to wrap things. Thank you for stopping by. This is TV One Pentathlon Season Two. We know.